everybody, I'm Elise Explosion and I am sitting in a weird position. Uh, but it's been a while. It's been a little while since I have done a taste test and this is a very, to me, interesting taste test. Now, as you probably know, I am a Disney Parks girly. I love Disney World. We go, we've been, let's, let's say we've been. Uh, and while we are counting down to our next visit in January, uh, we, my Mr. Explosion and I are fine connoisseurs of one Disney food blog who just hit a million subscribers here on YouTube. They are a lifeline when it comes to Disney. I watch a lot of like Disney vloggers and they're great, don't get me wrong, but DFB is my standby when it comes to knowing what is new, what is good, and what is worth doing in the parks. And the first thing I saw in recent memory that made me like jaw drop to the floor food wise was something they called the Terror Twilight Cookie. Uh, apparently it's at Joffrey's locations, Joffrey's are the coffee shops. And we found out that the bakers of these Joffrey's, co the, the cookies you get at Joffrey's actually sell their cookies online. Uh, and of course, because you buy 12 cookies, you get free shipping. What did we do? We bought 12 cookies. Now, some of these are Disney Parks cookies. Uh, some of them are basically Disney Parks cookies with the serial numbers filed off. And some of them are not Disney Parks cookies, but looked so good, we could not not try it. So I have six cookies to taste test. Uh, we have, let's see, we have the Key Lime. Oh, and of course I should, I should say the company's name is Sweet Cups Bakery. Uh, these cookies are massive, like hand comparison. Like this is, this is a hand's worth of cookie. Uh, clearly, I am not going to eat all of these right now. I will probably take a single bite, cut it in half, and save the half for later while Mr. Explosion gets the other half. Uh, but we have Key Lime, which is not a Disney cookie. We have the Continental, which is not a Disney cookie. We have the Rizzo Monster, which is a very fun name. Uh, not entirely sure what that is. It looks like it might be the Oreo cookies and cream. And I can look these up online, actually. Uh, and then these three are Disney cookies. First one, the Disney cookie with the serial numbers filed off is Lemon Lane. This is basically the, the lemon blueberry cookie that you can get outside of Tron Light Cycle Run. It just doesn't have the blue food dye in it. Uh, it's, it's a lemon blueberry cookie. Next is the Play-Doh cookie, and I believe this is the Toy Story era, the one for uh, Toy Story Land in Hollywood Studios. And finally, the one that spurred this whole thing on to begin with, this is the Terror Twilight cookie. It is the Tower of Terror cookie, and it looks amazing. First up is, let's go with the Continental which Sweet Cups Cookies describes as brown butter and caramelized brown sugar come together with dreamy Ghirardelli milk chocolate, Heath Bar toffee bits, and sticky drops of salted caramel. Or sticky sweet drops of salted caramel. This cookie is gold. Well, it might not get us into the Continental, but we could try. Uh, this sounds fabulous. I love toffee. Uh, so Heath Bar is yay. Uh, I love salted caramel and like, what could possibly be bad about this cookie, truly? Oh, it's like a little citrusy smell to it. Let's give it, let's give it a notch. Mmm, that's got really good flavor. Nice, big, chunky chocolate. The brown butter comes through, very nice. And it's not, like it's sweet, but it's not like cloyingly sweet. This is a really nice solid like chocolate caramel cookie. This is, I'm gonna give this one like a seven and a half out of 10. This is pretty damn good. And of course, because this is cookies, I got milk. Which one next? Let's do the Rizzo Monster next because this sounds, this sounds like this could be like a Muppet cookie. 
Just when you think it's all been done, we've taken our chocolate chip cookie monster batter and crushed in 20 double stuffed Oreos and 20 Reese's peanut butter cups by hand. So, okay, it's like a chocolate chip cookie with Oreos and Reese's cups? Say less. I love peanut butter. I love Oreo, like I like cookies and cream. I'm not always a big Oreo fan, but I do like cookies and cream. So let's see. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. Take a look at take a look at this camera. You see that? That's that's delicious. You can see the big Oreo piece right there. Let's go right here. Whoa. Look at those layers. This is not as peanut buttery as I would have liked. It's not bad. Trust me, that is not a bad cookie by any stretch of the imagination. It's just, I expected a little bit more of a punch. So I'm gonna give that one, mm, maybe like a six out of 10. Again, not bad, would recommend, but my expectations are like sky high right now. I like milk. Okay, key lime time is this one, which looks fabulous by the way. Like again, the glare is not helping. Key lime cookie batter made with key lime zest and juice, brown butter, Florida summer honey, crushed vanilla cream wafers all mingled together with Ghirardelli white chocolate and a light dusting of pure cane sugar, or is that white sand from the beach? Ooh, this sounds delightful. And you can see like the granulated sugar on the top. That's awesome. That means it did not get like melted or damaged in transport. So here we go, let's bust this open. Ooh, and let's get this, let's get this on camera. Look at that, look at that y'all. Ooh, look at that sugar. All of these cookies smell fabulous for the record. Mmm, mmm. This one is definitely chewier than the rest have been, but that's a lovely flavor. Mmm, ooh, okay really nice mellow key lime. The white chocolate is a nice contrast. Like the sweetness of the white chocolate contrasts the tart from the, the sweet tart from the key lime. That's a great cookie. I'm gonna give that one like an eight and a half out of 10. That one is delicious. Okay, now we're getting into the Disney cookies. And I will start with the lemon lime. Or lemon lane rather, I'm sorry. They describe this one as the sweet flavors of summer are here. This magical recipe has Meyer lemon zest, Ghirardelli white chocolate, and lemon Oreos crushed into the batter. Then it's topped with candied blueberries. Ooh, okay. I am not a huge blueberry person. Mr. Explosion is a huge blueberry person. Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. What are you talking about? Just look, if you look at him, he's just one big blueberry, just massive. Uh, but I do have, I love the flavor combination of lemon and blueberry. That is, I'm a big fan of that. And this, oh, again, this has got the same like crusty sugar on the top. Yes, please. I'm gonna go to make sure I get this, the blueberries in it. Oh, that's good. How did I expect any of these cookies to be bad? Like truly light, delicate lemon flavor. Meyer lemon is awesome. I love it's not super tart. It's, it's, I feel like Meyer lemon is equivalent to key lime in the sense that they're, they're a little bit sweeter and a little bit less tart. Mmm. The blueberry is a nice contrast and I love that crushed sugar on top. There's, there's just a slight like saltiness to all of these cookies too. And not like, it's not a bad thing. It's just got a nice contrast. This one is also like an eight and a half out of 10. This is really good. I think I just like citrus cookies though. All right, next up we have, okay, so this is the Play-Doh cookie. The Play-Doh cookie, brown butter, caramelized brown sugar, play with Ghirardelli white chocolate, marshmallows, sprinkles, crushed animal crackers, and topped with a frosted animal cracker and a touch of cane sugar. Go ahead, play with your food. What? Okay, so this, I definitely see why this is the Toy Story cookie. Um, I love frosted animal. Like the fact that they're using cookies in their cookies is kind of like cookieception, but I like it. It's it's a nice, it's a good flavor contrast, and I like I like it when they play with flavors. 
Ooh. Oh, you can smell the brown butter really, really strongly. That's nice. Um, okay, so you can see there's the uh, the crush, this frosted animal cookie. And there's a frost, a, just, I just dropped a sprinkle. It's so colorful and so fun. And I'm pretty sure it's also yellow. Like it, like I'm actually eating Play-Doh. This is very funny. Oh, I'm going to go here because it's like gooey. Oh, whoa. Mm. This is good. This is, this is sweet. I love super sweet though. So, okay. I think I got a marshmallow bite and we've had these for a couple days. So the marshmallow is kind of starting to like goo a little bit, almost like caramel. This is really flavorful. Again, sweet, but the brown butter notes, it tempers it a bit. I really like this one. This one is gonna be like a nine. This is definitely like a nine out of 10. Let me palate cleanse before the last cookie. And finally, this is the one that I have been dying to try here. Okay, the Terror Twilight Cookie. Cinnamon and caramelized brown sugar cookie dough dance with Ghirardelli white chocolate chips and haunts of crushed double stuff Oreos in the batter. And we dust it lightly with, we dust it with a ghostly cinnamon and sugar dream dust. It's a place between the twilight of purple and a bit of terror that bring this magnificent cookie to the light. Oh man, this sounds amazing. All of like the Disney people I saw that got one loved it. And I, I don't know that I would be any different. First off, it's freaking purple. Like that's so good. Look at this, you can see, let me peel that down. You can see the cinnamon sugar, you can see the white chocolate chips. Can't really see the double stuffed Oreos in it too much, but like they're there, we know they're there. All right, where do I even begin? Oh, look at how purple. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I did save the best for last. This is so good. The cinnamon sugar, it's, it's interesting because it feels like the batter isn't like super, super sweet, right? But I feel like mm, the brown butter and the cinnamon sugar play off of each other really, really nicely. This is a fabulous cookie. It is purple. Like it is the purple of my accent wall that you guys can't see. It's amazing. This cookie is like, I don't want to give it a perfect 10, but that is like a 9.8 out of 10. That is a fabulous cookie. And I am super glad we got these. They apparently, they also freeze up to like three months. And when they sent us the package, there was like an instruction in there that we could like heat the cookie, but we lost that. I was going to do this whole thing where I like put the cookies on a tray and I put them in the oven and I took them out and filmed that. Uh, but I lost those instructions. So I didn't do that. But I think overall, if you, if you have a hankering for a super special sweet treat, these are a super special sweet treat and I highly recommend them. I've got a whole, I got a whole bunch more videos in the can um, and we'll see when I can actually get around to editing them. My computer, I am so sorry. If this is like the first video that I put up in like three months, uh, my computer has been giving me a lot of trouble and crashing a lot. And the last thing I want to do is edit video footage when I'm, my computer is crashing because I don't want to lose it and have to try all over again. Anyway, friends, sorry to rattle on for this long. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Everybody take care, be well, and I will see you in the next one. Later.